Learn with Eddie. Once upon a time, there was a small and playful dinosaur. <laughs> known by all and known for his insatiable hunger. Oh. So they would satisfy him by teaching him how to cook delicious dishes. <laughs> Get ready, Eddie, because today we're going to prepare a wonderful but easy dessert. Uh -huh. We're going to make crepes. You guys can also make them. And don't forget to tell Eddie down in the comments what dessert you want him to cook. <laughs> There's lots of recipes to choose from. Pancakes, blinis, cachapas, fijoas. Uh -huh. I know they look the same, but they come from different countries and have different recipes. <laughs> Today, we're going to make crepes. They come from France. Uh -huh. <laughs> Exactly, Eddie. The French invented them, so... Faisons rouler la pierre. Uh -huh. It's let's get the rock rolling in French. <laughs> it means we're going to start. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is heat up a pan <laughs> and put a bit of butter to start melting. It's what we're going to use to fry the crepes. <laughs> the butter will make it tastier and prevent it from sticking. Mm. For the batter, we're going to use some basic cake ingredients. <laughs> you got it, Eddie. Flour. 150 grams should be enough. We also need three eggs. Uh -huh. Remember to throw away the shells in the organic bin. We have to recycle like Eddie does. <laughs> we'll add some milk. A quarter of a litre is enough. Oh. And lastly, sweeten it with sugar. <laughs> That's all the ingredients. Now we need to mix the ingredients until there aren't any lumps left. <laughs> Looks good, huh? But you can't eat it just yet. It might upset your stomach. <laughs> First, we need to fry it. We <laughs> pour a good amount of batter and wait for it to brown. See, Eddie? It's gone solid. <laughs> and looks perfect. <laughs> Our first crepe is ready. One more for me? <laughs> Meanwhile, have a think about what you want on yours. Mmm, <laughs> banana and chocolate. Eddie, you're a culinary artist. <laughs> Both things combine really well and are delicious. So we'll cut a banana into slices, is add it? some syrup, and your crepe is ready. Uh -huh. e You're right, Eddie. I almost forgot about my one. Just in time, thankfully. And don't forget to always turn the kitchen off. <laughs> Mine will be different. I will think I'll add some cheese. And to make it sweeter, a good dollop of honey. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Eddie. I'll save you a piece. <laughs> now then, bon appetit. <laughs> Hi, Eddie. <laughs> I see that you're ready for one of your recipes. <laughs> what are you going to surprise us with? <laughs> no clue, huh? E. Don't worry, I'm sure we have plenty of stuff in the fridge to choose from. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh my, Eddie, our fridge is almost empty. E. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll think of something. <laughs> Let's see what we have. <laughs> I can see a big tub of yogurt. Ah, and some seasonal <laughs> fruit. Perfect for summer. Uh -huh. Yeah, Eddie, some fruit like strawberries, peaches and cherries don't grow all year round. Oh. There's different fruit in each season. <laughs> what recipe can we do with these ingredients? <laughs> Great idea! Let's make some fruit yogurt ice cream. <laughs> Here we have some containers that we can use as molds. 
and we'll use these wooden sticks as the handles. <laughs> Look, Eddie, we've got everything we need. First, we'll pour the yogurt into each of the containers. Not filled to the brim, though. Now, let's cut the fruit. First, we'll cut the strawberries, the peach, and now the cherries. Done. Now, we just have to add the fruit to the yogurt. Eddie, it's important to remove the peach and cherry seeds. Uh -huh. It can be dangerous. <laughs> Lastly, stick the wooden sticks in. Uh -huh. One, two, and three. Perfect. <laughs> now we just have to stick it in the freezer and wait until it turns into ice cream. <laughs> Wow, Eddie! Our fruit yogurt ice creams are dinalicious! Hehehe! <laughs> 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 <laughs>